New at 530, we are sharing an exclusive interview with a Lee County mom who called Wink News for help. Hello again, I'm Lois Tomey. I'm Chris Safadi. Initially, this mom took her worries to the Lee County School District. She wasn't satisfied with their response, so she turned to us. She expressed her concerns that her child's designated bus stop on Fordham Street shared an address with a registered sex offender. That made her feel uncomfortable, and the situation escalated when she says the offender tried to get on that school bus. Just a day after our story aired, the Lee County Sheriff's Office arrested the offender, Ezekiel Pagan. Wink Investigates reporter Kelly Miller has been following the story. Kelly, what else can you tell us about it? Well, Chris and Lois, you know the old saying, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. That mom decided to keep making noise until she got results. Tonight, the registered sex offender she feared, Ezekiel Pagan, is in jail, held on $200,000 bond. Pagan went before a judge this morning to face four charges, the most serious, trespassing on school grounds and violating a child safety zone. Mom told me she's a little overwhelmed right now, but thankful Wink News told her story. What would you do if your child's school bus stop was located across the street from the home of a registered sex offender? When a South Fort Myers mom found out this was the case for her child, she called the Lee County Schools. And when she didn't get satisfaction there, she called Wink News. Let's not be reactive, but proactive. I talked with this mom who said all she wanted was for the district to move the bus stop somewhere else along Fordham Street. Lee County Schools said the law only requires them to move a bus stop if there's a violent sexual predator nearby. Mom wasn't satisfied with that response. When things don't seem right and they're not adding up, they're usually not adding up for a reason. One day after my original story aired, the Lee County Sheriff's Office moved in and arrested the sexual offender, Ezekiel Pagan. The arrest report says there is video evidence that Pagan got a bus driver to open the door, then leaned into a school bus with his head, torso, and arms. For a registered sex offender, that's against the law. Bottom line, this mom was right. Don't give up. Not only did deputies arrest Pagan, but the district is also taking action by moving the school bus stop. If you can't go through this route, go through another route. I decided to call you because I felt like this would be aired and get the message out. Now, the school district denies the sex offender ever boarded the bus, and while that's technically true, he did cross the threshold of the school bus door. Mom, who asked me not to name her for safety reasons, said her case is proof. Trust your instincts and keep pushing, even when you are told no. Back to you.